The number is putting it mildly. 5,000 people estimated by the UN to flee uh, Eritrea every month. 5,000. And you're absolutely right. They're the second most common nationality after Syrians. It's about 22 percent of all of those asylum seekers arriving here on European shores are from Eritrea. Why Eritrea? Why this country? There was an extremely incendiary, excoriating, I can use a big word there, UN report slamming uh, a, a whole litany of human rights violations just last month. Um, let me just give a little bit of the rundown. And not to paint too bleak a picture, but it's hard not to. This is a country where it's illegal to leave the country from the age of six years, unless you have official government authorization, six years old. The very heavily secured uh, border of Eritrea is manned by guards with Berlin Wall-style orders to shoot to kill, not making this stuff up. Military service isn't just mandatory in Eritrea. It's practically indefinite. There have been stories of Eritreans who have gone out of the country talking about how they were in the military basically for 17 years, often served under absolutely atrocious conditions. The UN report itself was a 550-page report based on a one-year investigation of the country, not inside the country because they were barred access, the Eritrean government wouldn't cooperate, no foreign media are allowed in the country, but based on interviews with Eritreans, uh, basically uh, saying that the, the human rights abuses range from disappearances, torture, rapes, uh, especially sexual violations against women and girls, uh, disappearances, death, disappearances, that's a euphemism as well. The people who disappear often aren't seen again. It's a country where there are an estimated 10,000, 10,000 political prisoners behind bars, in jail. It's a country that Reporter Without Borders says is the worst place in the world, the worst place in the world to work as a journalist. It is ranked dead last for eight years running on the Press Freedom Index. And that's just outsiders and journalists, people trying to get information. For Eritreans themselves, uh, one witness who, uh, who spoke to the UN investigators, obviously outside the country, said that when they are in Eritrea, they are, quote, scared to think because they are scared that their thoughts are going to be read by those around them. It is a society which, under the only president that Eritrea has known since independence, Issa Saferki, um, has basically been run in a climate of, according to the UN, political uh, repression and fear, fear of uh, basically what happens if you dare to raise a hand, raise a voice, or speak out. And as for the elections themselves, uh, Afwerki has basically been on the record saying he believes they should be postponed three or four decades or longer. Why? Because they polarize society too much. All right, Doug. Uh